Good morning, folks. Let's start with something very cool. Scientists are redefining bits of microbiology with implications far beyond. Bacteria that eat electrons? That's worth a read, and thanks to those who shared it yesterday. Here we are on the other side of the planet. Ramu Sun, on the left, claimed 65 lives at least already, heading inland. To the right, we see the next one, currently drenching the Philippines just to the west of it. The experts have it slated to shoot up to the north, but so far it appears to be heading due west towards the island nation. A bit of good news on the tropical storm front here. The system meant for Hawaii completely fell apart once more. Tough to complain there. Here are our Earth spots for New Zealand and Australia. Pretty much the same story as yesterday with the North Island appearing to take the worst of that low there. In Europe, there is little doubt that the low in the North Atlantic takes the cake. Spinning counterclockwise, her leading eastern convergence tail that swings to the south is driving those cloud explosions that shift north along the curve. This week's polar vortex event in the north broke records across a wide portion of the United States and Canada, prompting the Weather Channel to take a historic look back to some of the coldest marks for the largest cities in the U.S. in the past. Interesting to see how history brought cold across the decades. As for the current weather, the low in central Canada and the low in the southern states are the major players. Luckily, the one down south didn't produce as many severe storms last night, but some areas are in danger of flooding, and that continues tonight as the system hasn't moved much. Worse should be at the coastline. That northern flow will bring the showers north and bypass the Midwest for the most part. Did take a gamma burst early this morning from the Centaurus constellation. The X-ray and extreme ultraviolet intake was near the floor as solar flares are entirely absent. We do have a few new spots developing on the sun, none of them significant yet. The southern spots do take the tiny cake, beta polarity, but nicely separated. The solar wind is calm as can be on speed, only slight variation to the density, and even the tip south up top to the BZ is of most minor magnitude. Gotta be well past negative 10 before it matters. KP Index seems to agree. Remember folks, we're at the Uxbridge Rib Fest about an hour from Toronto. I'll take the stage at about 1 o'clock p.m. I had poutine for the first time ever yesterday, which was interesting. Try to match the power of these coronal holes to the openings you see in shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.